Hello again! Welcome to Learning K-12 channel! Today we will learn about ecosystems. Everything around us is our environment. It contains living and non-living things. The living and non-living things in the environment interact with each other to make up an ecosystem. The living things present in an ecosystem I call the biotic components. The non-living things present in an ecosystem are called the abiotic components. Biotic components include plants and animals. Abiotic components include water, soil, air, climate, and nutrients. An ecosystem may be very big, like an ocean. Or very small, like a hollow in the tree. It means ecosystems can be created at any place where the biotic and abiotic factors work together to sustain life. An ecosystem contains many living organisms. Each organism has different needs for food and shelter. The place where an organism lives and gets its food and shelter is called the habitat. A single ecosystem like a forest has many different habitats. The living organisms in an ecosystem can be divided into three categories. Producers, consumers, and decomposers. Each of them play an important role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. Plants are producers because they make their own food. They produce food by using the energy from the sun and changing water and carbon dioxide into sugar. The production of food by producers is essential for the survival of all living organisms. Animals are called consumers because they can't make their own food. They eat plants and other animals to get the energy they need. Consumers can be classified as herbivores, those who eat only plants, carnivores, those who only eat other animals, and omnivores, those who eat both plants and animals, and scavengers, those who don't hunt but eat the dead plants and animals. Bacteria and fungi are decomposers because they get their energy by breaking down the remains of dead plants and animals. While doing so, they release the nutrients and minerals back into the soil. This helps another plant to grow well and produce food for consumers again. All the members of the ecosystem work together to maintain a balanced and healthy ecosystem. Addition of a new organism or removal of an existing one can cause severe harm to the ecosystem. Therefore, we should not cause any harm to the environment and protect all living organisms. We must plant more trees, use renewable sources of energy, conserve water, 
electricity, and gas. And follow the three R's that is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Thank you for watching the video. Please share it with everyone and don't forget to like and subscribe.